damage control. The next tool is the neck pinch. So this is one that it, 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 uh, it comes from when the guy puts his arm underneath the neck as opposed to over the shoulder here. If and you were saying if, if I'm over the shoulder, if, you, if he's over my shoulder, I'm going to go straight to the shoulder block. But if I feel it coming and I say, oh, that's not going to work, and I'm doing this kind of deal. Now I'm going to do the neck pinch. And really, I'm trapping his arm with my neck, pinching it to the ground. Get to my power position of 8 o'clock, pinch. Bridge for the sweep. And a lot of times, let's go back just a second. You know, I don't know why, but in this demo, I think he's trying to come, like he's worried about the camera angle or whatever. Go ahead again. Whenever, whenever we're re actually rolling it, I always feel this top hand of his clamping me down to him. You know, whether it's grabbing my neck or my lat or whatever, I always feel like I'm clamped into him and I can't get out. So he's got my arm pinched. Let's turn this way a little bit. He's got my arm pinched with his head. He's clamping me on top of him. He's created the angle. And he just bridges up and over. And it's really, it's low effort when you get the angles right. So, so we have three tools, the love handle, the shoulder walk, and the neck pinch. Each one of those can be augmented with an arm assist, okay? Let's, let's, uh, can, let's do it on this side since... Okay. So for the arm assist on the love handle, I'm going to help trap it. And even if I can't get on top of it, if I can trap his arm, that arm assist. Sometimes I'll use my arm to tuck it under and now he's gone. And sometimes, especially with the gi, I'll grab the gi and just hold it right there. Okay? In the shoulder walk, I can walk and I can also arm assist and hold this here. For the neck pinch, sometimes I'll just reach up and I'll grab this and hold it. And especially with the gi, I'll grab the sleeve and hold it. Try not to elbow my partner in the face. Hold that. And over. So each of the three tools, love handle, shoulder walk, neck pinch, they also have an arm assist. And the, I think the real beauty of the, of the series is when you put them all together and you start creating uh, an oscillating effect. So when, it, when I feel like I'm on, on top of coach, he'll go, he'll go this much to one way and he'll hint at, at say, getting a love handle and it's only that much movement. So, but as soon as I adjust, he readjusts to a slightly bigger angle and then next thing I know it's a little bit more and then a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, little bit more until eventually I'm so committed that he gets a sweep. Or I'm so, I'm so far off of him so that I don't get swept, he just, it's an ugly escape, but he just basically wiggles his way out of underneath me. It's a lot like trying to hold on to a, a fish after you catch it. It, it. it turns its tail just a little bit and it gets you know, a microscopic amount of space on one side of its body, but as soon as it goes the other way, then it's got a microscopic amount of space on the other side of its body, and it, it you know, goes like this, 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 and then it's out of your hands. And, Again, it's, it's simple leverage. It's the same way that you open up a paint can with, say, a, a flathead screwdriver. You don't just pop it off generally. You get it in there and you're, uh, just a little bit and then a little bit more and a little bit more and then finally you've got so much action in there it pops off. So if we can put them all together uh, uh, if you, so you guys can see how it all works, we're just going to kind of live go it a little bit. I'm going to do my best to stay on top here and uh, we'll just kind of show you how, how it looks. I did, everything good. I did everything good to stay on top that time. And uh, also notice too that I'm going to be giving him different feeds in terms of where my arms are. I'm not even going to tell him where they go, but notice sometimes I'll be both over, sometimes I'll be one over, sometimes I'll be here. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Here we go.
And there's the example of I got all wide and I made dang sure I wasn't going to get swept, but I made so much space he was able to just ugly his way out of that situation. And thank you so much for sharing that, Coach. You bet. Uh, we, we miss him so much. He was such a big part. Of, he still is a big part of damage control. I got him out from behind the camera um, to share with you one of the things I really wanted to learn. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you turn in next time for more damage control MMA.com.